what's good youtube it's your boy johnny finesse welcome back to the channel and today we're about to watch this he built his car for 200 dollars with scrap metal in guyana that, that is very impressive to build a car for 200 dollars in the area that you're in round of applause of course round of applause round of applause but that shit is crazy but if you're new to the channel and haven't subscribed yet hit that subscribe button y'all be on the road to 650 subscribers y'all need y'all to hit that subscribe button let me let me it's on 480p let me just bump that up to 1080 you feel me see look so much clearer now that's the car behind him you know what i'm saying he built it for two and he got the okay okay but if you're new to the channel hit that subscribe button and the bell notification so you don't miss a thing again with that being said let's get into it hi everyone my name is kelvin and i build this car with my own two hands The story that I'm about to tell you is beyond impressive and I've never seen anything like it before in my entire life. Everybody meet Kelvin, a teenager from the outskirts of Accra, Ghana, who literally made this stunning car from scrap metal with his own bare hands. To me, this is so revolutionary is and mind-blowing that, that so I couldn't loud. help but wonder, how does one even go about doing that this? Well, it turns out that he's always been a bright kid with very high ambitions. When Kevin was a kid, he has been using these uh, empty containers for um, aeroplanes. He started with it. He has been doing this aeroplane like helicopters. And when it flies, it flies to some stage and it will fall. So it reached a point that he wants to make this big car. Sometimes he will stay at home when it is even and it's two time right. then you'll be doing it right what did you think when he first drove the car and it actually works what was your reaction how did you feel i was scared because car problem and thing like this he made his own engine we bro. are not rich enough to for him to drive a car and maybe you get any injured or he will hit somebody or wow, that's something amazing. so I, I, that is i'm amazing. always scared mm -hmm. for him because always I tell him country, you shouldn't bro. take it out. Right. Even the first time he drove it to the school, I wasn't around. There's so many people here. How do they feel when they see his car? Are they excited or is he popular here in this town? As you can see, anytime this car comes out, other children follow the car. That's how they are. They'll be laughing. They are very happy about it. Kelvin had a dream to create a car with his own bare hands, and, really and nothing stopped him from achieving his he really goal. Did that, he started though. with the first piece a few years ago, and little by little, the car came to life. Tell me about the different materials that you use. It looks like metals and stuff. Yeah, we use the normal uh, uh, material that we use to build the containers. Mm -hmm. And uh, we have the square pipe, one pipe, mm -hmm. uh, angle bar, the iron rods for construction. Mm -hmm. yeah. And also, we use the plates to do the body. This car is a combination of car and motor, okay. so uh, the motorcycle. So we have the uh, motor shocks under here that helps the car to resist the shocks and also mm -hmm. wow. the, the hope we get it from scraps. How much money would you say it costs to get all the material and make the car? It, it costs a lot because uh, right now I can't have it in total because I, I have been buying it most, most, most more. Mm -hmm. Can you try to make like a, a, a guess? 8,000. That's like a hundred, yeah. less than two hundred dollars. How long did it take you to build this car? It has taken me three years. And that is you amazing. did everything yourself? Yes, I did it myself and later on my friends can enjoy it. So uh, Kelvin and I are going to take a spin in his amazing car that, that you is hand amazing. built from scratch. From that is very amazing. Scrap oh metal. I don't even know how it's going to work, but I'm excited to get in the car. Okay, cool. Wow. That's the door handle? It's like a Ferrari, it opens up. We're going in. Going in the Kelvin Mobile. Mm, the one and only Kelvin Mobile. Whoa, dude. This is so cool, man. No review, but it's. Holy crap. Cruising around Accra in style, bro. That is. Today's video tough. is sponsored by Surfshark. I don't need to know because I don't get paid. Surfshark. My lovely. I already got a VPN too. Already got oh, a let's VPN. Jump back in let's go back into the story, bro. I've never experienced anything like this before. Mm -hmm. Dude. He's a 
Watch out, guys. Watch out. Alright. Ready, bro? Let's go. What type of when, when it first started working, were you so happy with the yeah. first time you could drive it? I was, I was very happy with so, But the first time, the car got hit and some of the parts spot. So, oh, some of the parts are broken. We are going in reverse. Yeah, oh, we're going in reverse? We're going in reverse. Backing up. You, you should call this like the Kelvin mobile. You should get like a little like logo. Like a K? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You should get a rear view window. That's what you should actually okay, need to so do, Okay, great. So we're just going to have his own brand of cars that says K for Kelvin. Like, I've never heard of anyone making their own car like this. That's incredible, man. Like, it's so inspiring what you're doing. It's really, really special. Is this for the music? Yes. You have music? Can I, does it work? Yeah, yeah, put the music on. Yeah, yeah. Whoa, like the ceilings in here are like, there's like puffy material. It's yeah. supposed styrofoam. to be like sound deadening. The ceilings are styrofoam. He's got a mirror. He's got a radio system. This is the stick shift right here. Yeah, the stick shift. All right, it's really everything that you, you need in the car. Okay, we're going to drive just down the street and stop. We'll stop uh, before the main road. Oh, man. Woo -hoo! That is bumpy. Yeah, that's crazy though, like... This is so amazing! No, we've been on the what? main road right now, the car actually works. Like, we're driving fast. Unbelievable! No seatbelts though. I'm like... Need some seatbelts, my guy. But they probably don't even have, like, licenses on the shit and stuff like that. So it's like, whatever. I'm so shocked right now. But yeah, that's really crazy. Do you want to keep creating or do you want to inspire other people to make cars? What's your goal? Yeah, my goal is to uh, build cars and manufacture cars and all over the world. We are on to build cars like how the white people do. Mm -hmm. <laughs> if you could say one message to every I, like, like, what? Like, everybody in the world watching this video, what would you tell them? I want to motivate everybody who has the knowledge and the skills to build something. Sometimes when you are building and you are starting to do something, it's, we find it very difficult to yeah, build things like everything. this, but it costs a lot. Yes. So I want to motivate every youth, anybody who wants to build something like this or who have a, a dream to make sure the dream comes to pass and with that it can be successful with everybody. That was beautiful, man. Mm -hmm, that was. I, I know from the start of his car, but when he was here, he started. I stayed with him in this hard for a long. Do you stayed with him? Yeah. Do you like him? Yes. He's a nice person. I'm also planning to do heritage motor. Really? Tell me about his car. He, on the last day on the BC, he took it to the, the school. So I said, I'm going to finish. Then he go, he can go around it with it. Amazing. Hey. It's okay. So when you started, it was really small, and then it grew and grew and grew, and now look, it's, a, it's like a big car now. That's really cool. So you also want to do the same thing? Yeah. Really? Have you started yet? I'm now, I'm now drawing certain things I have. Oh, wow. That's great. Next time I come here, I will be interviewing you about your car. Yeah? Sure. <laughs> You're confused. So you are the amazing mother of Kelvin. Yes. What do you think about the car? <laughs> <laughs> I'm so excited because when he started, I, I have ever thought it would reach this far. And my, my boy has done amazing things. You gotta that be proud. I'm Even if you like it or not, you gotta be proud. He built something that is crazy, bro. That costs thousands of dollars. Out of, with little to no money, bro. That shit is crazy. It's really it incredible. Is, it, it's that shit really is crazy, incredible. bro. And he's only 18. Yes. Okay, uh, right now, uh, as we are building this project, and we are finding it very difficult to get the materials and the support to do better and more. So I'm asking everybody, I'm pleading, I'm begging everybody that anybody who has any support, maybe from the financial education and any support, maybe the garage that we can work in, 
as you can see, we don't have any good garage that we are mm -hmm. working. So we need garage and also we need the support to do it and do it better. Okay. Thank you for your time, man. It's been incredible to meet you and hear your story, and I wish you all the best. Thank you. So we think we pulled up to the right spot, but we don't know. We called someone. She doesn't even know who she talked to. <laughs> and apparently the kid is coming here now. And so we're just kind of... I think the, the one we called, he also made a story on the kid. Uh. Yeah, so he knows where the kid is. He's going to take his day. Okay, so we are basically doing what we can to find the kid. Um, and we're just waiting. Sissy, what part of Accra is this? And we are Tabora, Tabora Junction. Near what? Abeka La Paz in Accra. And what can we find here? Um, basically, I don't really know. It's just a, <laughs> it's just a normal place. But yeah, we, we're in a really random district of Accra. Cece doesn't even know where we are and yeah. she's from here. <laughs> and uh, mm -hmm. yeah, I, I don't know much about this kid. I saw a video on Facebook of him. He was featured in a viral video and it, I saw it for like 15 seconds, but that was enough for me to know that I want to find him and make a story on him. So that's what's happening right now. So we're just kind of waiting around until we get the green light to find him so and uh, make the story. Episode, right? I think we found the guy we were looking for. This guy. How are you? <laughs> There's a lot going on. How are you? What's your name? My name is Niai. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet Niai. you. Niai. Yeah. Promoting Ghana to the world. Yes. Yeah, I'm trying thinking. to do that also. And thank you so much for coming to our country to promote us. I'm Drew Binsky. That is and if lit. You but if you made it to the end of the video, you obviously like the video. Come on now. That shit is crazy. That shit is crazy. You know that shit is crazy. He built a car with 200 US dollars. You feel me? Imagine buying a car for 200 US dollars. That's amazing, bro. There's nothing that exists. And he built it with $200. May not be fast. May not be luxurious. But he built it with $200. Feel me? Made it to the end of the video. You obviously liked the video, so you obviously gotta subscribe. Hit that subscribe button. We're on the road to 650 subscribers. It's your boy.